Hey guys, this is uh, Nathan from Afrin Custom Knives, and we are gonna put some knives up on the website right now. Just wanted to let you know, and this is a live update. I know that some of you are gonna join in on the stream fairly shortly, and uh, but wanted to, to kind of show off some of the knives that we're putting up right now. Um, that way you can get a live update as soon as they go live, as well as see some of the good features, maybe some new models, uh, cool stuff that we've gotten over the past couple weeks um, oh first want to recognize San Diego knives uh, knife life that's uh, our friends that we uh, were uh, we saw at the USN show they hooked me up with some free swag I got some other hats you'll see me wearing so I won't be wearing the same hat all the time I was getting some flack for that so I'm good to go uh, got some new new hats all around so you might see me wearing a different hat every day of the week who knows um, but uh, two new makers uh, Haricus Blue Maris and uh, who we saw at Guild Show and we saw at USN and in fact we sold some of his knives at um, all of the knives we got at Guild Show we sold I mean a, a few, few of you saw some of the stuff we posted on Instagram and we're quick to swipe them up and we couldn't even get them on the website yet um, and a few of them sold at uh, Guild Show he was at the I'm um, no USN show he was at the USN show and there was a lot of, of you guys there um, looking for knives and just hanging out USN is a great show uh, just to meet people hang out it's a small enough show where you can still just kind of chill and and um, hang out and see new knives um, there'll be a lots of um, lotteries, so a lot of the knives will be hanging around a little bit, at least a few hours, so you can at least see them before somebody swipes them up. But um, I do have some new knives, new model from Harikus. So first one I want to show you is one that you've probably already seen before. There you go. That is the LL14 uh, stainless bolster. Um, let me see if I can flip it around there. There you go. Yeah, let's look at that blade. More of a dagger type blade, liner lock. Um, fairly large knife. Um, if you don't, if you've never seen this knife before, uh, this model it is almost five inches long, four and seven eighths, and then it weighs six point one ounces. So this is a um, Closed knife, uh, almost six inch long. Now let's see blade length. I'm gonna show you blade length real quick. Uh, blade length, you're looking a little under four inches. You're looking at uh, three and seven eighths. So this is almost full length open, almost nine and three quarter inches. I mean, this is a this is a a, a pretty large knife, but uh, custom uh, pocket clip. Uh, it's got the the ball right there, so uh, it's easy to go inside your pocket. I'm putting it in right now. Easy. And uh, light and strike carbon fiber, uh, textured uh, bolster, stainless bolster, on IKBS bearings, so it's super smooth. And um, excellent knife. This is one that's been stable for a good while. This is an excellent knife. Um, then also another one that you may have seen, the uh, the LL06. That's this one right here. Now one new thing that he's changed on this one uh, that you may like. Uh, some of y'all like the front flipper that he has right there. The front flipper goes like that. You can do it with your thumb or you can do it with your finger. Uh, but yeah, that it, that's what's good about this particular front flipper. You see how it's kind of at an angle? Uh, and so you can actually flip it with just a little bump of your thumb or flick it hard uh, But at the same time, it's also at an angle where if you wanted to pull with this finger right here, it's really easy um, It's got a, this one's got a great detent on it um, shredded carbon fiber uh, stainless bolster texture bolster um, So that is an actual oh this this particular model though he's also made in a rear flip as well and uh, we had one of those sold it but he's going to make some more for us so that's a good a good knife good pocket knife in the hand uh, let me get you some measurements right here 
this one from closed you're right over four inches you probably with the little nub with the nub that you see right there it's probably four and an eighth um, just as far as that uh, blade length let's see blade length you're right under three inches I mean a sixteenth of an inch under three inches that way you kind of check that out but that is an excellent knife let me see weight wise 4.1 ounces so anyway that's a sweet little knife it's also been a staple of the Henricus Blue Maris uh, models but I have a new model that I want to show you and this one right here is the LL08 this one is smaller lighter and same 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 smoothness that you're gonna get with the IKBS is a great job a little thinner in the hand something that you if you want a pocket but still has that that pocket clip right there sculpted pocket clip weighs mm, 3.2 ounces so that is it's titanium liner lock you can even see the backspacer um, 3.2 ounces um, closed length well, actually closed length is right at four inches and then blade length right under three inches so you're right at seven inches overall length uh, but three inch blade is perfect you're gonna be able if you're in New York or you're anywhere else this is an excellent knife so um, not only do we have it in carbon fiber and textured zirconium bolster but we also have it in BAM desert ironwood textured stainless bolster you can kind of see that there you go and uh, same thing just super smooth just got to give it a little flick IKBS makes that thing beautiful so um, anyway new knives those are four new knives going up on the website and they should be available right now in fact I put them up right before I did this video uh, so those are some new Herikas knives we also have um, one other maker now this maker is kind of a a special maker because he's a good friend of ours son so uh, Willem Steenkamp, Cozy Steenkamp, who we stayed with at, uh, um, we, we stayed with Cozy at the Guild Show, and then his brother, Willem Steenkamp, uh, comes to the Guild Show as well, and, uh, and he brings his, he brought his son this year, Sockman, so I'll put, maybe put a picture of Sockman, we took a picture together, I gave him one of my hats uh, from uh, San Diego Knives, Knife Life, so but I want to show you this because this is the pouch that it comes in. You can see Sockman knives right there. But uh, this is the pouch that it comes in. And not just a pouch, but it also has a um, the card. So you get a little card in it right here. Sockman knives has all the information. This is a pointer model, N690, orange G10. But when you pull it out, it's also got a, a wool um, sleeve in case you want to drop it in your pocket it's gonna protect it not that you need to protect the G10 oh actually this is the green one the the orange one I must have got them swapped a little while ago uh, I was I was playing with them but uh, let me see um, uh, yeah here's the orange one right here so there's the orange one with the sleeve orange pointer neon green pointer just a little friction folder beautiful drop point on that one has this logo right there sockman knives um, but not only does it have that but it also has a little lanyard uh, with a little shell casing right there nine millimeter polished all out looking nice sockman you did a great job on these uh, good nice thick I, I would say not thick but I mean you know Usually you're you're looking at on a friction folder. You want something you can use, and so uh, a real thin blade is not going to work. But that one, I don't know if you can even see it. Decent size. Let me see what the weight is on it. Weight is 2.6 ounces. So super light. Um, the the overall length right there from the uh, closed 
right at under four inches, probably the same blades, probably right at three, right at three inches. This is an excellent knife. This is one that you probably ought to have, and it's at a great price. So go check those out. Those just went live on the site. I only have two. So a couple Rikas Blue Maris knives, a couple uh, Sockman knives, and uh, that's all that's going up today, but we have a bunch of stuff next week. Uh, feel free to uh, so follow us. We're going to do live streams just like this every time we have a, a release. So we'll do a we'll put them up on the website and immediately after do these live streams so that you can get it uh, you know heads up when something's going up. So we got I'm looking at Peter Stain knives. I think we have some P, uh, Pete Bronkhorst knives, some JD Vandeventer knives. Uh, I'm looking at a couple Clyde Chalinor knives. We got some spinners, some tops uh, going up from TW Blade Works, Travis Williams. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff. I'm looking at a whole table full of stuff that I can't even, uh, some of the guys are not even up on the website yet. We got a bunch from the Guild Show. So we're excited about that. Looking forward to it. And um, if you have any questions, I know we have a few of you online right now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. But I'm gonna pack these up and wait for a minute before we turn the video off. Any questions about these specific knives? Steel is gonna be N690. Uh, Rikas Blue Maris uses N690. It's a great steel. It's got about a um, 58 to 60 Rockwell hardness. Um, that's a great, great point where it's it's just right. It's not too hard, um, but it's also uh, not not so soft where you have to sharpen it a lot. Um, but it is it is a uh, it's a good steel. Uh, I think it's the same way with um, with Sockman knives. I think he uses N690. I'm gonna check just in case. We'll be posting some pictures of these too on Instagram and Facebook. Let me look at these. Yes, N690, Sogman Knives. So he used N690 as well. N690 is a great steel that most South African guys are using. So, um, because it's easily accessible and it's, and it's a great steel. So uh, you want to use the best that you can use. Uh, some of them use M390, Bowler Steel. It's an Austrian steel. Um, and a lot of them use damascus steel, a few other ones. So um, that's it. That's what's going up. That's for our customers. Now we're also going to try to do a live stream next week for our makers. Uh, we're going to give you some feedback on the shows. Uh, so we'll we'll set a schedule for that uh, at the beginning of the week, and uh, that way you can log on. We're going to try to do it in a time where it's good for African guys as well as uh, over here. So we'll try to arrange that. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, checking out the live stream. Talk to you soon.